I have missed you guys so much. Oh my gosh, it's been way too long since I filmed a video. It's been like two and a half weeks now and I just feel so bad. I feel so guilty. But if you guys follow me on Snapchat and Twitter, you'll know why I have been gone. But I am here today with a Q&A video and I'm also going to be doing a get ready with me. So instead of just doing a regular get ready with me, I figured I would include a Q&A. So I had you guys ask me some questions on my Twitter. Yeah, it just felt super good to finally be able to sit down and film for you guys again. So I'm really excited about this and I have lots of fun videos coming soon. So stay tuned for all of those. So yeah, if you guys want to get ready with me and listen to me answer some questions, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I have a ton of questions screenshotted on my phone from Twitter that I'm just going to answer while I get ready. If I ever get to say anything that I'm using on my face, like the makeup, everything is going to be listed down below in the description box, just in case I'm going a little bit too fast and skip past that. So I'm just doing my eyebrows first with the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. So there's one question that I'm going to answer first, and it's from Belle, and she said, why are we at the hospital? yesterday are you okay by the way love your videos so I figured I would start with this question first because this kind of explains why I've been gone for so long if you guys have been wondering and there's just been a lot going on mainly with my health originally I was really sick so in the last video that I posted I mentioned that I was extremely sick I thought that it was getting a little bit better at that point when I filmed that video and it actually kept getting worse and worse so yeah I felt really guilty about that I also feel really guilty because I wasn't able to finish vlogmas and I really really wanted to finish that I was so excited to do that and I only got to do like seven days of it and I had to quit so I was really sad about that then to answer her question why I was in the hospital yesterday so yeah Yesterday morning, I woke up at 8 in the morning to excruciating pain. It was the worst pain I'd ever felt in my entire life. I literally woke up and my eyes just shot straight open and I just grabbed my stomach. I honestly can't even hardly remember. It was so, so bad. I have never in my life felt anything like that before. On a scale of 1 to 10, it was probably a 10, honestly. It was the worst thing I could ever imagine. And I have a very, very high pain tolerance, so that says a lot. And I was literally in so much pain that I was throwing up, so I was super nauseous, I was throwing up. It just felt like someone took a knife and was just stabbing me over and over again, and it didn't go away. It was really, really scary. I started crying because I was so scared what was going on. I thought it was my appendix. So immediately Kyle woke up and he brought me to the hospital and there was a huge line and they got me in before anybody else. So I was really happy that they did that. Basically, like I took a urine test and a blood test and that my urine came back with blood in it. Then I had to go in for a CT scan, which I've never done before. So yeah, I had a CT scan done and they found kidney stones in me. If you guys have never had kidney stones or never heard of them. Basically, the only way that I can explain it, and this is from what I've heard from everyone. I've never had kids, obviously, but every single person, all the doctors, the nurses, everyone that has reached out to me after they found out that I had them has said that it's worse than giving birth. It's worse than labor pains. So you can only imagine how much pain I was in. I'm sorry, guys. I forgot to charge my microphone, so it just died. So that's probably why the audio sounds a lot different now, because I had to switch back to my old microphone. But all I did was prime my eyelids with Tarte Shape Tape, blended it out with a beauty sponge, and then set it with my Cody Airspun Translucent Powder. And what I was saying before I got cut off was um, the pain just comes in waves. Yeah, so it's just been a rough day today and yesterday. Hopefully it'll pass soon. They said it's supposed to take five to seven days for them to pass, so I'm just dreading like the next few days. Enough of that, I just took way too long to explain to you guys what happened to me. So I'm gonna move on. O-D-Y, O-D asked, how old are you and what's your favorite food? I am 22, I turned 23 in May, and my favorite food is macaroni. Either macaroni or mashed potatoes, those are my two favorite things for sure. And then this one has a bunch of questions. This is from Medula Ash, I hope I'm saying that right. She said, I have so many questions. Do you take shampoo and conditioner bottles from hotels? No. No, I don't, but I do take the bar soap if they have it. She also asked, do you still watch cartoons? Hell yes, I watch cartoons. Cartoons are my favorite still. I don't care how old I am. Then she asked, do you cut out coupons and then never use them? Um, 
So I went through a stage, like a couponing stage, a couple years ago. I thought that I was going to be like the next big couponer, you know, that you see in like TV shows. It never happened. I don't know what happened with that. I don't think I ever actually brought them to the store. But I had this whole book of cut out coupons from magazines, the newspaper, like all sorts of stuff. And I, I never even brought them to the store. <laughs> she also asked, can you curl your tongue? Oh, it feels so weird doing that. Uh, she said, what female celebrity do you wish was your sister and what male celebrity do you wish was your brother? By the way, I'm using the Revlon color stay. This is in the shade 300 Golden Beige. That's a hard one. Oh my gosh, I, I don't know, honestly. I don't even have siblings. I don't have brothers or sisters, so I don't even know like what I would want in a sister. For the male, I would want my brother to be... Marky Mark, Mark Wahlberg, I love him. For a girl, I don't know. I guess for a sister, I'd probably have to say it, Jennifer Lawrence, just because she's hilarious. I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is light neutral. I am breaking out so bad on my chin. For the past like couple weeks now, I feel like my skin is like purging or something. I don't know what's going on, but I started a new medicine. I actually restarted a new medicine. It's called Spironolactone. I was on it probably about a year ago now and I didn't really take it like I was supposed to. And so it didn't work for me, so I quit taking it. I decided to go back on it because my acne was just getting so bad. And I don't want to do Accutane. I feel like my skin is like in a purging stage because it's just way, way worse than it's been in years. Okay, next question. S. Preet asked, would you rather know when you die or how you die? I would definitely rather know how I die. I feel like if I knew when I was going to die, that would be like, I would just go crazy and I wouldn't want to know when I die, but I would like to know how I die for sure. Then I can maybe like avoid doing that. <laughs> Taylor Anderson asked, did you go to college? If you did, where did you go? How long have you and Kyle been together? Did I go to college? Yes, I went to college. I went to Normandale Community College. I completed three semesters, so I only went for a year and a half. I don't know. I just didn't know what I was doing, and I felt like I was wasting money because I couldn't, like, make up my mind about what I wanted to do, and I don't know. It's weird because I actually love school. I did really well in school. So I'm not one of those people that is like against college or hates it because I really didn't. I actually really do like school. So I just quit going and I decided that I was going to spend that time working a lot. I worked my ass off and just saving up a bunch of money until I figured out what I wanted to do. And honestly, if I was still in college, I probably would have never started YouTube. So it's honestly a good thing that I didn't keep going to college. And she also asked how long have you and Kyle been together and we've been together for five and a half years. And then she said, in your vlog, you were going to the Mall of America. I live in Minnesota, Rochester. Do you live in the cities or not? I love you so much. Oh, I love you too. So I live in Shakopee right now. I'm from Prior Lake. That's where I like grew up. That's where I went to school. Actually, we moved to Lakeville after I graduated and then we moved to Shakopee. But Lakeville was a very short-lived house. We were only in there for like four months and we got evicted, so. Michelle, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce the last name. She asked, what's your favorite tattoo that you've gotten? Um, I have a couple favorite tattoos. I also have a lot of tattoos that I have that I hate. <laughs> yeah, don't get tattoos when you're 16 on some random person's couch, that's all I can say. I really, really love my crown. It's this one right here. Kyle and I got these tattoos together. He got a crown too to match. So I really love my crown for that reason. But then I also, I love this one. I think this one is probably my favorite. So I already had the roses done. I love my roses. I'm obsessed with them. And I just added this on. My mom and I got tattoos together because our first mother-daughter tattoo, she covered up. So now I'm just left with a tattoo with no other part to it. So I have, I'm holding the key and then hers is holding the lock. So it's like I'm holding the key to her heart. This one is another one of my favorites. I adore this one, but I do need to get it touched up because when I got it, I picked it really bad. And so some of the ink is kind of coming off like in the Y's, but it says, I am yours and you are mine. If you guys know the song Oceans by Hillsong, that's what this is from. That's my all time favorite song. I listen to that when I'm having the worst days when I'm having the best days. And I don't know, I just feel like I could just listen to that song and bawl my eyes out. It's just so beautiful. So that's another tattoo that I love just because it means so much to me. Okay, Vanessa Turpin. 
Terpstra. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at pronouncing names. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, she asked, what are your goals for 2018 and what type of hair do you have? By the way, I'm setting my under eyes with the Cody Airspun powder. This is another thing that kind of goes along with what I was saying earlier, um, how I've been really sick. So starting on the 9th of December, it was either the 9th or the 11th of December, I made a huge lifestyle change. I am completely living totally different and basically my goal is to keep this new lifestyle up. I just kind of was sick of how I was living. I was sick of how I was treating my body. I was sick of the way I felt and I just decided to finally do something about it. I've been working out five to six days a week and the main thing is I've been eating really, really healthy. I ditched all junk food. I don't even remember the last time I had junk food. I don't go out to eat anymore and if I do, I get something like really healthy unless it's like one or two cheat meals a week. I've been really, really good about it and I think it's just, this is the first time that I've actually like really wanted to do that and I don't know, it just feels amazing. I feel so good. I feel so much better and so much happier and I don't know, I just feel like it's putting me in a much better place than I was before just taking care of myself. So I would say that is one of my main goals for 2018 is just to take care of myself better than I have the past 20 two years. Also another big goal of mine for 2018 is obviously launching my eyelashes. Um, she also said, what type of hair do you have? Oily, dry, thin, thick. What type of hair do I have? Um, shitty hair. <laughs> so my hair used to be so, so thick. I ruined it myself and it just hasn't gone back since then. But I literally took a razor blade and I would do this like all the time. I would just sit in my room when I was younger, but I literally would just take chunks and a razor blade and just thin it out because I hated how thick it was because it was so, so thick. Ever since then, it just has not been thick. So my actual strands are pretty coarse. I have a lot of texture in my hair, but my actual hair is kind of thin it's thickening out a lot more now and then she also asked if it was dry or oily uh, my hair gets pretty oily but i use a lot of dry shampoo i really only wash it once a week sometimes i go like eight to nine days when it gets to that point my hair gets pretty dry like towards the ends but i think it's pretty normal honestly i don't think it's like super dry or super oily would you ever film hair tutorials i would totally film hair tutorials but i don't know what i'm doing with hair i was thinking about doing like a heatless hair tutorial like 20 hairstyles or something just because i don't like to use heat on my hair i'm gonna use a little bit of the anastasia liquid glow highlighter this stuff is so pretty uh miss cassie bonbon asked do you have any polish origins so flea pack is actually my stepdad's last name so my mom married my stepdad obviously and took his last name and i was a thomas and i was a thomas for up until i was in eighth grade is when i changed it and they got married when i was in like second grade so i was the only thomas in my family besides like my grandpa and i just wanted to have the same last name as my mom so i decided to take my stepdad's last name so that's where flea pet came from so my stepdad's side of the family is czechoslovakian i hope i'm saying that right <laughs> notice me asked if i like cheese balls yes i love cheese balls simran asked if you weren't doing youtube now then what other career would you be doing i would definitely be doing makeup for sure so yeah i would still definitely be doing wow that's really blinding I would still definitely be doing something in the makeup realm if YouTube wasn't here. Queen T asked, how much longer do you plan on doing YouTube for? Honestly, I, I think that I'll do YouTube until YouTube is no longer a thing, which I hope never happens. I really do love doing YouTube and I can't imagine myself not doing it. Yeah, until the day YouTube dies, I will be here. <laughs> a lot of people also ask me too if I have babies, if I'll still do YouTube. For sure, I will definitely still keep doing YouTube even if I start to have kids. Okay, so I'm using the new Morphe Dare to Create palette. I've never used this before. I got it in the mail like two days ago, so I am so excited to try this out. I'm obsessed with this packaging, this matte black and gold. So I think I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go on with this shade right here, and we're just gonna put this in the transition. Wow, that's pigmented. 
I hope you guys don't mind how long this video is going to be and how long I'm taking to answer these questions. I just haven't filmed in so long, so I feel like I have so much to say. Maria asked, when are we going to be able to buy your lashes? Honestly, I was actually supposed to have them out before Christmas, and obviously that didn't happen. It'll probably be another month or two months before I'll actually be able to release them. I'm going to tell you guys like a little story about what happened and why it's taking so long, because I kind of got a little bit screwed over with this. I'm taking this shade right here. So I already have three of the lashes done and completed, ready to be shipped out, but I don't have the packaging, obviously. And I wanted to start with 10 lashes. The packaging is what really is screwing me over. So I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet because I already paid for the packaging, which really, really sucks. It's not a typo, but it's not correct on the box. And it's a very, very small mistake. It's my fault because when they sent it back to me to like confirm, like to start making the boxes like that, I okayed it because I didn't notice it. So on the back of the box, I have a hashtag on there that says Euphoria Lashes and it's in cursive. And where the R and the I meet in Euphoria, the I is dotted over the R. So if you can picture like an R goes like, so it's like the R and then the I's right here, the I should be dotted right here. It's dotted right here. It just really, really sucks because I don't know what to do. I already paid for thousands of boxes and it's like on one end, obviously I'm, this is the only batch there is of that. I'm gonna redo the whole box. I'm gonna do totally like redo it so that never happens again. It's like part of me thinks that it would be okay just because you guys would be aware of that and it's just like, it's not always gonna be like that, you know? And then another part of me is like, well, that just looks kind of bad on my end that I wouldn't fix that. I'm just really stuck. I just don't really know what to do about it. So I've just been sitting here like staring at the boxes wondering what I'm supposed to do if I should wait to redo everything because if that happens then I won't have them for three four more months so that's kind of my dilemma here that I'm dealing with you guys should actually let me know down in the comments what you think I should do if you would rather wait for boxes that don't have that typo on it or if I should just get those out there and then redo them after those boxes go out I just use this shade that's one that I was just using and then I used this dark purple shade in the outer corner. And now what I'm gonna do is take this Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. This is in the shade Bronzed Bell. Caitlin asks, are you planning on getting any other pets? So if you guys don't already know, I do have six dogs. Oh my gosh, would you look at that? Anyway, so I have six dogs. I have two little dogs and then four huge dogs. Uh, we've been thinking about it. Kyle wants to get another Rottweiler. So I kind of told him no to the Rottweiler because I just can't have another big dog right now. But we are thinking about getting another Chihuahua. So if we do get another dog, it will either be a Chihuahua or maybe like a Pomeranian. eyeshadow is insane. She also asked you like eggnog or hot chocolate. Love you. I love you too. I love eggnog, but I love hot chocolate way more. Gracie V asked, what beauty YouTuber did you discover in 2017 that you love the most? Oh, I really, really like Bella Fiori. I hope I'm saying her name right. I know she's not like a new YouTuber, but I just found her this year and she's gorgeous and she's so, so sweet. I also really like Michael Finch. I think he's super funny. I like Raw Beauty Christy a lot too. I just discovered her actually not that long ago, like probably a month ago. She's hilarious. I love her. Oh, Alyssa Ashley. My God, she's just an angel, I swear. If there is a definition of perfect, it is Alyssa Ashley. I'm gonna take some of that dark purple shade and smudges on my lower lash line. I'm gonna take a Morphe M506 brush and use the color that I used in my crease right below that. <gasps> that just scared the living hell out of me. There's a ladybug in here. Oh my God. Where did this thing come from? Uh, Sana asked what made you become a beauty YouTuber or what made me want to start doing YouTube was just because everybody was always asking me how to do makeup and like what products I use and how I do my eyeliner and all this stuff. So I just figured that I would make a video, but I never really knew that YouTube was this 
in depth, if that makes sense. Like, I just thought it was just like you upload a video and a couple people would see it, like my friends and whatever, but I never knew that you could get so much out of YouTube. I guess I never really realized that this could be a career. I was just doing it for fun. I just did it to help people. ODY asked again, what's your favorite music and my favorite singers? Um, I like all music. I don't think there's any kind of music that I don't like. I'm very open to all types of music. I mean, I mostly listen to like rap and hip hop just because that's what I'm surrounded by every day, like with my boyfriend and all of his friends over here. But I do really like a lot of other types of music. S-U-M-I Sumi asked, what is a perfect day to you? Being able to sleep in, first of all. Spending the first like hour or so of the day just staying in bed and cuddling with my dogs and Kyle. Maybe turning on the TV and watching a movie or a TV show or something. Putting my robe on, going to make Kyle and I breakfast or even going out to breakfast. I love going to like the pancake house with him. And then just coming home and being able to just be at home and edit. I actually love my editing days when I can just sit on the couch or sit in bed and edit my videos all day because it's really relaxing even though it is kind of hard sometimes. It's still very like calming to me. And yeah, just basically being able to sit in my robe all day and edit my videos, maybe have a bowl of ice cream, watch a movie with Kyle. Me and Kyle are big movie people. We watch a movie every single night before we fall asleep in bed or we just go to the movie theater and watch a movie like literally every single day. I'm pretty sure we've probably seen every single movie known to man three times. <laughs> Tenzin asked Too Faced or Benefit? I probably have to say Too Faced only because there's more things that I like from Too Faced like their mascara. I cannot live without the bronzers. The matte liquid lipsticks are my all-time favorite matte liquid matte liquid lipsticks of all time. I would have to say Too Faced for sure, but Benefit does have two of my holy grail products and that's the precisely my brow pencil. This little guy right here, I use this every single day and it's my favorite eyebrow pencil of all time. And they also have the What's Up highlighter, which I use every single day. Uh, Rebecca asked, if you had to choose one YouTuber to switch lives with, who will it be and why? Love you. Love you too. I love my life. I'm so in love with my life, so I would never trade my life for anything. Success wise, I would have to say Jacqueline Hill or Carly Bible, just because they're so successful. It's really inspiring to me and I just really admire them a lot. Otherwise, I really, really love Sarah's Day. Her name is on YouTube. She's like a lifestyle and fitness YouTuber and I'm obsessed obsessed with her. I literally watch her vlogs and I'm like, can I be you? Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit of MAC nylon right here. Okay, I'm using the ColourPop Lippy Pencil. This is in the shade BFF. Oh my god, he's about to crawl into the lens. He literally is just walking around in a circle over and over again over my lens and I don't want to like bother him, but it's very distracting. Greenly asked, what was your first name brand makeup palette? By the way, I love you, I love you too. My first name brand makeup palette was, uh, it was the Urban Decay Naked One palette. I remember I wanted that thing so bad and my mom got it for me for Christmas. Okay, then I'm gonna use Makeup Forever lipstick in the sh shade C105. Then I'm also gonna use a little bit of lip gloss. This is Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar. Okay, so I'm done with my makeup. I can't believe how long that took. It's already 2.30 in the morning. I need to go to bed and get some rest. There were so many questions, so I didn't get to answer all of them, but if you guys want me to do another Q&A, I can for sure do that. You guys ask me a ton of questions all the time, and I love that you guys ask me questions. So, I don't know, Q&As are just fun, and I feel like you get to know me a little bit better. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it wasn't too boring for you guys. And I will be also filming, I think I'm gonna do a Sephora haul next or I'm gonna do my roundup of 2017 beauty favorites. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.